My name is Rita Keller and I am an Iyengar Yoga teacher. So Iyengar Yoga for Healthy Aging, um, of course there is always a story behind a book, right? So it was Gita Ji who asked me after the women's intensive when I asked my help in helping her in classes like assisting and so on and she came one day so a couple of days later and she said um, I have thought about it no I don't want you to help me in class Rita but I would like you to help me writing books and I said me yes you have done you are my student and uh, I see your work. So she even that did not ask, what do you think? She just said, I would like you to do this. And um, so a couple of days later, she said, um, we meet on this. She said, have you thought about my idea? And I said, um, yes, still I'm it's something you ask. She said, no, no, I asked the right person for this. And then um, she asked, if you and me write books, what would be the first book? And I said, well, based on the women's intensive and the documentation we all have done, I would say it should be the book Ayanga Yoga for Motherhood, so for expectant and, um, and new mothers. And she said, a very good idea. So, start. And I did, of course, I always do studies around it and um, put the whole contents together. She said, when you are ready with everything you prepared, finalize the table of contents, we will discuss it, and then you can start. So this was the first book. And then, when this was done, uh, of course it took nine years. Then, um, she said, um, what about the next book? This is already good. Of course, this is motherhood, I think, is in 14 languages, meanwhile. And, uh, and I said, well, I would continue with menopause. Yes, this is good. So we pick them up there, and then continue. Yes, very good. And of course, yeah, peri and post. And again, so many years, so it is now, it is now published in, in English. It came to Thieme first because it's a scientific publisher in Germany and they were overwhelmed by the high quality. So, meaning um, not a yoga book of doing moving, but everything what we offer in this book. The clarity, precision, comparability, our, everything. And of course, um, I brought her a small booklet, what I did with uh, Natur and Medizin, when they asked me to do a small booklet for them, and this was, there is no age to yoga, yoga for healthy aging. And I brought this small booklet to her, and she said, what is this, Rita? I said, well, I did something like this. Rita, this is much too small, and it does not cover everything. And you know, it is such a small book, so how can elderly people see the photos? They need glasses if they want to see it. And uh, so we discussed, finally she laughed and she said, it's wonderful that you continue, motherhood is there, menopause is there. Now we finalize the last part. So that would be the healthy aging one. And healthy aging, Rita, but I want a bigger format, more photos, more content, more subjects, and especially you also what you should not forget sometimes they are bed stricken they lie in bed they cannot do anything and the mudras have to come you have to give them the mudras you have to show them how to lie in bed heels extension but also opening the hands making fists doing this fingertips and all this has to come and i said okay i went home again and what i did was I made this book, yes, and uh, The Healthy Aging is, of course, it's, it's a very beautiful book. And unfortunately, it was 
She saw menopause ready, so it was in 2018, and uh, so shortly before she died, she got the, the last books or the newest books of, um, of menopause. But unfortunately, the order came to me, it was at the beginning of 2018, it was a couple of months before she died, and I prepared, and she could not see um, the, the final one. But she, of course, she has seen the table of contents, she saw all that, and, um, and I think she will like it. Yeah? Also, the way it is made, it is not too thick, and I just wanted to make a book. People can just open it and see, ah, this is the way to practice, and easy enough, simple enough, though, with the necessary depth. <laughs> yes, I admit it is a very thick book. <laughs> but I must say, you see the book A Younger Yoga for Motherhood, and it was published with Sterling and Pam Publishing. And Sterling came back to us when the manuscript was done, and they said, two volumes. And Ayanga was sitting, because Ayanga sat down in the library and he said, no two books, one volume. They have to understand this is encyclopedic. It's not a book you carry in your pocket, but it's encyclopedic. It is something you will always refer to. And this is the only chance to understand really everything about motherhood and postpartum. No two volumes, he said. Okay. This is in one book, and he was right. Now, <laughs> everyone knows I'm profound. And Gita Ji, that time with motherhood, people said, when will the book come out? And she said, you know, Rita cannot stop writing. Then there is an, a new subject we have not dealt with, comes in and then 10, 15 teachers say, this is so important, you have to cover this. We cover it. She covers it. Rita, isn't it like this? She then in class, she said, and I nodded. And she said, at a certain point, we will stop writing. Then everything has been covered. Now, when it came to menopause, it's a big subject. It's perimenopause, postmenopause. Again, it was also sterling. They were interested very much in the beginning. And they said, two volumes. <laughs> because Ayanga said, how can we stop perimenopause and then we cut it into two and then postmenopause? Anyhow, the whole philosophy, anatomy, everything has to be explained again in the second book. One book, tell them. And tell them, first book was already encyclopedic. This is the same encyclopedic work. So, um, and of course, I, I had so many subjects and still the book had 900 pages, 900. And it was at a certain point when we skipped certain subjects and thought, okay, let's do it in a separate book. Like here now we just, uh, we deal with cancer, breast cancer and all this. But of course, this already had more volume, and many other subjects had more volume. And so more things like diseases, real diseases, and um, heaven knows whether we will ever publish it. But it's uh, at a certain point when um, Sterling said, at a certain point you have to stop. If we should still be interested, and then we started, okay, this should be in but it is definitely an encyclopedic work. So when you want to look at something, you have to go into this book. Yeah. And of course, it is, it is most important, here comes that when we talked about women and what do we really um, strengthen, support, balance in the women, everything is about the nervous system. This is dealt with in this book, and this is the snake, actually, when it comes to the certain point of how building up knowledge. And building up knowledge can only be that we really build ourselves up in a certain way. And building it up means it has to go from inside out. 
And this is the way. So when we look at this, the heart is Shavasana. And then we study, yes. Then all regenerative asanas come. Everything that balances. But we will not start with strong backbends. They are in the periphery. When we are strong enough, but with a disturbed nervous system, you should not do the backbends. Then what we say, fire element will much too high. It's not good. So this is why it took also time to develop it like this, Shavasana. This was Gita Ji's wish to make clear if a woman will pass this period in her life, she should come out like a new born life. She should have put and skipped the old skin and just come out with new skin. And to really ensure this, it is important to understand how the Iyengar system builds it up. And um, for this it took some time. And you see, the last parts are only, um, what we say, identities, yeah, something you identify with, special things you identify with. This is not a disease book, it is the book of identities, yes.